Yo, what is going on guys, Manny here and welcome to another episode of MMT. That's Manny's Money Team for those of you guys who don't know. Uh, but yeah, we are deep into it right now. Uh, we bought Ronaldinho in the last step for 15 million coins. That was the purchase that we made there. Uh, but despite buying him for so much and expecting so much, it, it just, it, we didn't live up to the expectations of it. He didn't live up to the expectations. And although he had some sly moments of brilliance and some nice stuff, it's nice on the eye, but at the end of the day, if it's not going to get results, I don't really want the card. Like, I still want to play nice football, nice FIFA. And yes, he can create moments like this, but he didn't do it too often, so the card had to go. One of the next things we did after that goal, uh, after Fight Champs, was get rid of this card. We put him on the list, and we tried to sell him for 15 million. Obviously, once you buy a card for over 10 million, or even once you buy a card for over 5 million, you just know you're going to lose at least at least 500k most of the time and uh, when it's 15 million oh my gosh that's times by three uh, so we are losing a lot when we're buying these players and selling these players obviously you guys know that i've invested with the knowing that i'm gonna lose coins on these players but you guys want me to try them as well so i'm doing that for you also uh, but yeah dino was bound to lose us some coins zidane as well we made way for him so uh maybe we could get the 97 version but do you guys think that is a smart decision decision let me know down in the comment section below do you think it's worth getting the 97 zidane obviously it's a card that i want to try but right now he's either extinct or he's going for like 12 million coins which i doubt he is worth he's probably worth around 7 million coins max and I don't know, should I do that or not? Eusebio was another uh, casualty of the weekend league. Uh, obviously, like I've said in the past, we have the 89 version, untradeable. So is it worth holding a 94 rated card that goes for 11 million coins? Probably not. So yeah, we sold Eusebio. We went and bid on Maldini. We got our coins back. Bid on Maldini to try and uh, put him into the team. Uh, 5 million coins, I don't think that's a bad price to get him at because... He's not going to be on the market a lot. He's not a card that's packed a lot either. And uh, it's a card that I really want to try. Probably going to be one of the best, if not the best defender on the game. I was also looking at Perlo. I got talked out of that one by the boys. Uh, they didn't think that it made sense. They thought he's too slow and he wouldn't be good enough. Somehow I found myself buying this 90 uh, rated winter refresh Ibrahimovic. I'm not sure how we got there, but we did. And uh, yeah, I, was, I guess I was just trying a few different cards and trying to uh, build a team that maybe could work for me going towards the new weekend. We also had our eye on this Essien, uh, going for around 3 million coins at the time. I don't think that's his current price. I think his current price is currently around 2 million, just above that. So if you're looking to try him and get a CDM in there, you could maybe turn to him. He's a little bit cheaper than I bought him for. Uh, we bought Kaka. Kaka is someone that you guys have really wanted me to try. I've seen that in the comments a lot, I've seen that on my Twitch a lot. Quick reminder, if you're not already following me on Twitch, the link for that is down in the description below. You can catch some MMT live and also some Weekend League live as well. So make sure you're following over there. Uh, but yeah, we pretty much built a team. 4-2-3-1 is what we went with. Um, I was looking at maybe uh, trying to change formation in game, but it just wouldn't work with the players that I had in there. Uh, too many defensive minded players in there. So we went with the 4-2-3-1. I was overloading the ball side as everyone does defensively. And uh, yeah, that's how you know it's gotten bad. When you see me using the meta and you see me doing the things that I wouldn't normally do, that's how you know I have no other choice, literally. But yeah, we went into games, we are trying this out. This time Zanetti with the fake shot. He didn't expect it because he thought I'd use the right foot and finesse it. And uh, we made it 1-1 there. But I was just trying to see maybe what this Kaka is about, what this Essien's about, if they could bring anything towards my weekend league grind. This time we try and get a nice little uh, neat one-two of Ibrahimovic and Kaka. I have to say, big, big mistake take to get this Ibrahimovic he had to be sold as soon as possible because you can see he's just a bit too clunky he's not made for this gameplay there's no advantage of having tall players really and I don't know if you guys have noticed that I've definitely realized that no advantage of having tall players they don't really win headers when they win headers it goes over the bar and uh, it's just not really worth it but yeah nice here from Kaka up against Zambrotta here you go see you later cut inside oh my goodness look at that finesse to the far corner Kaka that's a beautiful goal as well uh, I'm not sure what to think of him because sometimes he can move mad swift and sometimes he feels a bit heavy and I don't know it feels like it's easy to get him off the ball Essien, uh, on the other hand, pretty nimble compared to any of the other cards. Uh, can turn quickly, can move quickly. Yes, three-star skills is a downfall in this game for most players, but he's not there to do skills really. He's there to break up the play, be strong in the midfield, get the passes along and score the occasional goal. So Essien, in the first few games that I used him, was pretty impressive. Ibrahimovic, as you saw there, had to go. Um, but yeah, I was pretty pleased with the players that I was using at that point. Eusebio was just there in the cam position, which is probably not where he should be used because he's a very good fit. 
finisher on this game. Seedorf here, always doing Seedorf things, just getting in the area, making it, making himself a nuisance and scoring the goal. So still my favourite Icon Moment player. Um, I'm pretty sure that will change over the next few weeks when I try some of the better ones. Um, but yeah, pretty impressive so far some of these players. I have to say the upgrades are evidently there. You can feel the difference in their stat changes and you can tell they are much better players. The next man that we had our eyes on was this 91 Okocha. Obviously, myself being a Nigerian uh, citizen, a Nigerian born, not Nigerian born, I was born in London, but you know, of Nigerian heritage, it, it, it's, it's big. JJ Okocha is just a name that you guys know, and you, you just have to respect the guy. Just one of the guys that made football look very good. I've even had the opportunity to play football against JJ Okocha when he was retired, and he's still just an incredible player. So, to bring him onto the game and try and use him, also a very, very sick thing. I love that. And uh, I would like to see maybe more Nigerian cards in the future. Who knows? Maybe like a Kanu, although he'd probably be unusable given the gameplay. But here's the stuff a Kocha can do. He can do those little skills, turn in little areas, and get you some nice finishes if he beats the goalkeeper. But yeah, we get the ball here with Kaka again. He gets in and around the area. And when he finishes in and around the area, he, he is a good card to use, I have to say. But I think it's getting him there at times, which may be the problem. But here, look at him. He's going one-on-one -on -one with David Luiz. Come on, take me on. I'll oh, see you later. And Kaka again, electrifying, beautiful finish there. And he puts it straight past his goalkeeper. You know what that means. That celebration means, have I just done that? And he just did. Really, really nice goal. David Luiz didn't know where to go, and he got punished for it. See you later. Bang. Uh, so, yeah, so far... I mean, Kaka was pretty impressive, like, in terms of uh, the types of goals he was scoring, uh, which means he has the ability to do it. But my thing is, yet again with these cards, consistency. How many times can he do it? Can he do it in a tight game against a tight opponent? I don't think he's one of those cards. I think he's a bit luxury. So if you do want to try and score nice goals and do nice things, he can be your guy. But again, like, I think he's a luxury card in terms of you wouldn't want him to be grinding out a result. He's not like a, who grinds out results? Like an Mbappe grinds out results for people or a Neymar. He's not a card like that. He's a bit like a, who can I put him or or put him like maybe Zidane at times. If So for people who can't use Zidane, he's a bit like that. He's luxury. He's one of those cards that you, you have more nostalgia with and you're thinking, okay, he's, a, he's gonna be a guy that's occasionally gonna score for me. He's gonna do some nice things, but he's not really worth the price. But I'm not gonna say he's not worth the price at all because like I said he's capable of doing these things it's just how often you can do them and if you can pull them off oh beautiful from Akocha there and he puts it past the goalkeeper that's 3-2 in that game Akocha I have to say um, yes high dribbling yes very good agility but very weak too weak too weak to be usable in how this game plays uh, he hasn't got any sort of retainable strength when uh, someone goes near him or brings their force field defender uh, he does get moved off the ball very easily so for, if you're paying over one point Free 1.4 million for a Okocha, probably not worth it. He will go down to about a million coins very soon. And uh, if you want to pick him up for anything under a mil, I would say then that's worth it. But yeah, other than that, I probably wouldn't invest in a JJ Okocha, I have to say. Essien held it down in the middle, nowhere near worth uh, 3 million coins what I paid for him. Uh, probably worth around 2 million coins max. So if you're going to even, if you have the coins to invest in a player like Essien and that's the guy you want in, in your midfield, I would say 2 million coins max. Um, but yeah, Kaka, okay, decent, not bad, I'd give him a 7. Essien, I'd give him a 7 as well. Akocha, I'd give him a 6, not quite there. And uh, yeah, I have to say, like, overall, from the players that I've signed or got in this episode, they were just decent. Nothing special, nothing amazing, but they're capable of doing good things from time to time. I wouldn't say they're the players that you'd li like to fit in with the meta and get you those important wins in important games. But yeah, we still have plenty more players to try. Uh, you guys will be seeing some over the next few days. Uh, let me know down in the comment section below the players that you want me to try. I still have on my list Crespo. I still have Gerard on my list. I still have Kenny on my list. For some reason, I really want to try Ian Rush. And I know some of you guys might get on my case for that. Ian Rush is there. Obviously, Hullet, massive, massive card that we want to try. Vieira there as well. And we are waiting for the big man. Uh, the 97R9. So, what I'm going to ask from you guys is let me know. Uh, whenever you see a 97R9 on the market, let me know. Because I need that card. I want that card ASAP. And it will be a nice thing to get him. Because he will probably be in my club till the end of FIFA. If I get a 97R9, that will be beautiful. With the World Cup trim, that will be crazy as well. But let me know down in the comment section below what players you want me to try. Make sure you leave your comments there. Also, make sure that you're following me on Twitch. The link for that, yet again, is down in the description below. Go and drop me a follow over there. And look forward to more MMT content soon. And I will catch you guys next time.
Peace. Destined for greatness. Back in school days, I was known for my lateness. Always wanted more, wouldn't ever try to take less. Always been the real guy, never liked the fakeness. Never liked the fakeness, always kept it real though. Back to back on the track with my little bro. Keep our heads high, but we work with our heads low. Destined for greatness, it was known from the get go. Known from the get go, written in the stars.